So you want to know how to find a safe doctor. Okay. So there is a website that I think most people should be starting their research on. You've decided you want to have surgery. You decided you want to have it in the Dominican Republic. You need to go to this website. And the website is S-O-D-O-C-I-P-R-E dot net. That is the official website of the Dominican Society of Plastic Surgery, Reconstructive Surgery, and Anesthetic Surgery, Inc. That site, when you go to it, it gives you a nice option to either do Spanish or English, and it will translate the whole website for you. And you can find qualified plastic surgeons in the DR. The website clearly states, so you will know, if the doctor is not listed on here, then it is more than likely that that person is not qualified to do it. Okay? So not in those exact words, but very close to it. It translated in English, and the English translation from Spanish is not so perfectly written, but it'll tell you. If you can't find the doctor, you type in the doctor. So you go down on it and it'll say like, type in the doctor's store name. And if you type in the doctor's name, the more, and they don't pop up, then it's probably because that doctor is not qualified to do it. Um, they may be qualified for other things, but they have not met the requirements to be a part of this member association. Now they still could be a plastic surgeon or a general surgeon, but this group right here, the SOD, OCI, P -R -E. When you type in the doctor's name, um, it'll say either they're, it'll say they're a certified, qualified, and accredited and highly trained surgeon. And they meet the standards required in plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic. Also, it will tell you the hospital or clinic that that doctor works out of. Some doctors work out of <clears throat> multiple different clinics, but it'll tell you which one. And from there, you can start your search on that clinic and hospital and then if you just find out there's so many bad reviews or a lot of stuff going on at that hospital or clinic you might want to change your doctor based on that information also it'll have the address and contact number of that clinic before you go off to surgery you need to make sure your family and friends know the address of where you're going that way if anything comes up it'll be a little bit easier to you know help you out that, this website is very, very informational. They have a question and answer section, and it'll say like, how to choose a plastic surgeon, and it'll give a very detailed answer. What, why choose a plastic surgeon that is a member of S-O-D-O-C-I-P-R-E? Now, some, I'm not gonna tell you guys all the reasons, because I want you to go onto this website yourself and please take a look at it, see what interests you and what sticks out most to you in helping you with your research. But some of the things uh, that a member would need, require to be a part of this membership, association, plastic surgery society, they're held at a better standard, okay? So, um, some of it is you have to be Hold a doctor or medical degree awarded by a recognized a recognized national or foreign university so you can't just go to a uh, brown mackey or icdc college and say hey i'm a doctor you need to go to an accredited well recognized university also you must have training no less than three years in possessing a title of plastic and reconstructive surgeon. So you can't have training being a nurse or a OBGYN in that title. You have to have three years of training in the title of plastic surgeon, reconstructive surgeon and actually be practicing. And you have to have two years of formal residency in general surgery. So this, these doctors on this in this group are more skilled, more experienced and it, it's more required out of them to even get this title. So when I'm researching and looking for a safe doctor, I want my doctor to be a step above than these other doctors. That, that's gonna make me want to, you know, put this surgeon on my list to look further into researching, okay? 
Um, what's the difference between cosmetic surgery, and aesthetic surgery, reconstructive surgery? That's another question that's on the website. And once again, it gives a detailed breakdown of the difference. Is there are complications with plastic surgery? Will there be pain associated? All of these questions are listed on this website and very detailed answer. So I would advise your first step in looking for a qualified plastic surgeon in Dominican Republic is to go to this website and just take a look around, see what doctors are out there, see what clinics and hospitals they're looking at, and then go further into your research. And then maybe this might even be your second step because you don't know which doctors to really search for. So just um, look out for lists that uh, has all the doctors listed. I'm going to find a list for you all and try to list those doctors for you. But once again, I have not researched all the doctors in Dominican Republic. I have researched my four doctors and I've heard other names come up, but I'm sticking to what I know and I hope this video helps you in your research. Please check it out. Subscribe to my page, like and comment. Let me know what more you would like to see and have a great day.